Welcome to the wonderful world of Disney. We're a best-in-class leader bringing entertainment properties to life and we're really excited to be teaming up with, again with them and Disney Pixar to bring all of our favorite on-screen characters to the playroom. So we know that even the littlest girls love Disney princesses and we brought the magic to the little people. So this is our clip-clop stable because even a Disney princess's horse needs a nice place to stay, of course. So here we have several level, levels, beautifully decorated, just perfect for a Disney princess horse. So we can start up here with Rapunzel and Maximus taking in all the beautiful views of the palace, of the castle, I'm sorry, and then they can clip clop on down to the second level. You can hear where it gets its name because it actually makes a clip clop sound. She can grab a quick bite to eat. From there, she heads on over to the second level, into the tower. So she can maybe grab a book, have some tea inside. And it's one final stretch on down to the ground floor where she can go and say hi to her friend Aurora and Samson who are also included in the set. Now we know that princesses love dancing, but their horses also love to dance too. Which is why, which is why they can go inside to the courtyard and spin around to music. And when they're ready to hit the hay and head on home, they can gallop off into the sunset and it activates another sound cue there again. So. Very cute, but we know that uh, all the little girls were want to expand their clip-clopping adventure, which is why we have a clip-clop doll assortment. We have a Belle, a Cinderella, and an Ariel, each coming with their own track piece as well as play food, food so they can take their adventures anywhere. And little, while little princesses are playing with their, with their, uh, with, while little girls are playing with their princesses, we know that boys will want to be boys and play with the pirates, right? Of course. Which is why Jake and the Neverland Pirates is one of the most popular preschool TV shows out there. The product line is performing very, very well, and we're excited in 2013 to be bringing to life the most iconic location in the TV show, which is, of course, this hideout. Did you want to see a sizzle of that? We're going to play with the toy a little bit. Okay, great. <laughs> so it's Magical Tiki Hideout, which is very exciting. So the Magical Tiki actually activates all of the uh, hidden surprises and features throughout the hideout. So we'll start out here in the front, and. Voila, it pulls the palm trees open, revealing a secret entrance, as well as dropping two doors on the second level down to reveal a real working peggable cannon, as well as a spyglass so you can keep an eye out for Jolly Roger and Captain Hook. And as we head on inside, Jake decides he needs a better view, so he goes up on his crow's nest, and as soon as he gets up there, he spotted Captain Hook, and he's on his way, so he's gotta race right back down, head down to the ground level, and activate Hook's nemesis, TikTok Croc, to go chomping around and swimming away. And for our last final getaway, he can slide down the slide, leaving Hook in the dust. There's kind of a built-in story to go with it. Exactly. And for those two products you just showed, what is the age aiming that you're aiming for? Uh, this is preschool, or I guess very, very young, two, three. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit older, so maybe like four or five, somewhere around there. Okay, great. Yeah. Looks like we're moving on to the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse now. Yes, so again, we're bringing to life another iconic location from his TV show, which is, of course, his clubhouse. This is the Fly and Slide Clubhouse. And as we head inside, we can see Minnie gliding around on her airplane while Mickey's ready for some silly fun. We can press down on the purple lever, watch as he disappears through a trapdoor, and slides down the green slide. Minnie's plane is also detachable, so you can take her as high as your heart desires. And when these two are ready to relax, they can hang out on the seesaw here, grab a quick bite, or even head on inside to the living room and snuggle up with a nice book. Now moving into Minnie, Minnie is on fire, and we're really excited to be expanding her very popular fashion doll line, as well as bringing some new news to the Minnie line, which is her feature doll, which is very exciting. It's a first for Minnie, it's never been done before. So first up, we are in the fashion doll category. This is our Pampering Pet Salon. It's actually going to be featured in our big, huge movie event coming out this fall. So it looks just like it does in the movie. Girls can start out by having their pet on, go through the pet wash, and as we turn it with the bow, we'll get some fun cleaning sounds. Now we're ready for style. Just like Minnie said, we're ready for some style, so we can sit her on down in the salon chair. She can get her fur fluff to perfection, and then maybe right after that, she can get a nice, adorable bow. Now, Minnie decides she wants in on the action, and she decides she wants to wear a bow. Maybe touch up her makeup in the large vanity, and with the push of a button, we get some more fun phrases. And even some original songs in there as well. When she's ready to try on a new outfit, she can head on over to her closet. 
What's great about these fashions is that, they're, is that they clip on very easily so a girl can do it all by themselves. And for one last final reveal, we have a little secret surprise. Our puppy dog's waiting in the wings for his debut. And it activates some more sounds. Hmm, very cute. And it looks like we have a much larger mini uh, cheerleader type doll. Yes, she is our feature doll. She's our breakout star this year. We're so excited about her. This is Three Cheers min Mini, and she's ready to cheer on her favorite boy, or should I say mouse, and her adorable cheerleading outfit as well as pom-poms. So she likes to cheer. She's got some fun phrases and, of course, her iconic song to Mickey. Pom-poms in the air. Let's cheer. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Breakout stars, Mattel is very excited to be introducing Disney's newest princess, which is Sophia the First. She is uh, she has her own series on Disney Junior, and it, when it premiered, it garnered the number one preschool series launch in cable TV history. So it's huge. So we're excited to be bringing her magical world to life this summer, this June actually. We'll have three different segments, each of them focusing on a certain part of her story. So first up, we have our third our, our core segment. It's our three-inch dolls here. It's all about storytelling, and of course, a princess needs a castle to call home. So this is Sophia's magical talking castle with so many different areas and places to play and fun features and surprises. It's a perfect place for her to call home. But the, what, probably one of the coolest things is the interactivity here. Whenever a girl places either Clover the Rabbit or Sophia on the magical pedestal, it'll actually unlock a character phrase. I, I'm ready to play all day. Which is very cool. So it actually recognizes whichever character is on top and will unlock more phrases. So you can bring any of the other princesses into the into the castle and unlock even more of them. Now moving into our 10-inch segment for Sophia. In this segment, it's all about friendship play and nurturing play, which we know our core girl loves. And we're also really excited with this doll to be bringing to life a very unique attribute or trait of Sophia, which is her ability to speak to animals, which is very cool. I mean, I can't speak to animals, so I'm envious. She uses her beautiful amulet there given to her by the king. She'll actually recognize and speak to either Clover the rabbit, we have Robin the robin, as well as Mia the songbird. She's got some fun phrases of her own, so we can... You can hear that. And then when, a, when one of the characters flies in front, she recognizes her, speaks to her, and then gets her own unique response in return. So with so many different characters and so many different phrases, it's hours and hours of interactivity, which is great. Sophia is, uh, seems like it's Disney's youngest princess, I guess they have said, and you said the show has been very popular since yeah, it debuted. Yeah. Are, are you in the works with even more Sophia products for the future? This Absolutely. is sort of the first run of them. This is These are the key TV drivers for this year, but we've got a full line coming out. So yeah, tons and tons of toys that they can play with. Okay, great. What is the, the age range, just to run through sort of those last few that we did? So, the, again, this is preschool, younger girls, um, same with the minis as well. So. Okay, great. Yeah. So moving on to something much larger. Yes. So, of course, we know that our youngest girls love Disney princesses, and they're going to take that love with them as they grow up, and we want to be there while they're growing up, which is why we have the huge, ginormous, ultimate dream castle from Disney Princess Line. As you can see, gorgeous, three levels, each room is beautifully decorated, perfect for each princess. We have Snow White here in the kitchen, Belle in the dining room with her guests. We have Cinderella in the sewing room, sewing some beautiful designs, as well as Ariel in the bathroom so she can lounge. And we also have Sleeping Beauty's vanity there so she can get royal ready in the morning. And the newest addition, of course, is Rapunzel. She's got her third floor, uh, third floor bed bedroom here, complete with a spiral elevator. So her and her princess friends can go all the way up and down. And featured with our castle is also, obviously, as you can see, our Disney Princess Sparkle Dolls. So all the girls' favorite princesses are back in beautiful, dazzling, sparkling attire. So we have some satiny skirts, glittery bodices, sparkly tiaras, so they can be have a, a surely have a sparkle ever after. But probably the coolest thing that we're, that's coming out for 2013 
is that we're bringing both of these products to life in a new interactive way. We actually have our own exclusive app. It's called the Magic Mirror app. It's on the iPad. And this is how it works. So throughout the castle, there'll, there'll be several triggers that the app will recognize. And it'll either start in augmented reality or a mini game. So we'll start out in the front here, focusing on that clock up top. As soon as it recognizes it, I can set, send some uh, fireworks going. Now since it is augmented reality, no matter where we turn, no matter how we look, we'll still see the fireworks, which is very cool. Another trigger will also be the front door. We'll activate uh, Jasmine flying out on her magic carpet. And then on the inside, each of the rooms will actually have a mini game. So I'm just focusing on Flounder here one moment. As soon as it recognizes it, it starts a mini game with Flounder. This is a bubble popping game, so very easy, very fun, very addictive, honestly. So pop the good ones, avoid the bad ones. Another game will be in the kitchen. Uh, you can actually virtually make your own pie with Snow White. You can sew some dresses with Cinderella. You can paint with Rapunzel. So tons of interactive play here and integrating a totally new way to play with them. So uh, you buy the castle, the app is included with that, or is that an add-on? So uh, the app is going to be available August 1st. It can stand alone, but of course it's going to be at its most fun with the castle. When you do buy the castle, you get a code, so you can actually redeem it in the Apple, uh, in the Apple App Store, right. Apple App Store, something like that. <laughs> yeah, the iTunes Store. There and, you go. And so uh, Rapunzel is over here uh, twirling on her hair. When the other princesses are on there, they are also using Rapunzel's hair, I yes. assume. Yes, <laughs> she's, she's very generous with her hair. She'll let anyone use it. And uh, recently Disney sort of give a little bit of a redesign to the princesses, little new hairdos and dresses. Is this sort of in the line with the new princesses? Exactly, yep. Just like you said, we're basically just refreshing their look a little bit here with the glitter, glittery bodices and such. So. Okay, great. Uh, moving on from princesses, finally uh, something for maybe the little older uh, generation of boys here and sure, upcoming yeah. sort of, this is a, a spin-off of Cars, right? We'll start off with Cars, yep, right over here actually. Oh, we have Cars as well. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Disney Pixar Cars, everyone loves it. It's an evergreen franchise that's been supported by two feature films, tons of Disney tunes, and let's be honest, some pretty awesome toys. So since the first launch of the first movie in 2006, we've actually sold over 256 million die-cast character cars worldwide, which is amazing. Yeah, it's great. And for 2013, we're really excited about some more cars. Kids, uh, Cars fans can actually expand their collection with an extended line of our micro-drifters, or they can have even some more fun with those micro-drifters at our micro-drifter fast-flip technology raceway, which is really exciting. So the micro-drifters, wait, 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 I'm ruining the surprise. Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> I gotta reset, I gotta reset. I'll look away, look away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Micro Drifters takes that world of, of cars and shrinks it down to a super fun micro size, but with a twist. Thanks to a small ball bearing on the bottom of each vehicle, you can actually recreate all your favorite swarming and drifting moments from the movie. And of course, we've got a vast crew of characters, everyone from the Radiator Springs, we've got our boom racers and our tuners as well. Now, they look great swarming and drifting, but they look even better when they're racing towards the finish line, which is why we're really excited about our Micro Drifters Fast Loop Raceway. So, just like in the movie, kids can recreate Lightning McQueen's story journey as he trains at Willie's Butte to get to the Piston Cup race. So, here we have Willie's Butte. As he's racing around, he'll either take two paths, he'll go back through the booster again and train some more, or he'll activate the Fast Loop technology. And how they're getting around is actually this kid-powered booster here. You pump it and it swirls around there and it catches them and shoots them through. So we'll see if we can activate the, the raceway and see if we can get to him to be a winner. And there it goes. And of course, you race to the finish line and you have a winner in the end. So that's our cars. And high above the world of cars is planes. Like you, like you mentioned, it is the newest Disney animated film coming out this, this year. Um, I have a trailer for it. Would you like to see that or no? Seen that online many, oh, many times. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so you know all about it. Yes. So we're really excited about the whole world of it. We want to bring it to life in totally new ways. Again, we're going to be working with Diecast to create some great vehicles. They really are great at bringing the, those characters to life and all the details and such. Now, he looks great just sitting around, but he looks the best when he's flying through the air. So we have the Sky Challenge track here where kids can recreate their favorite racing moments from the movie. So we set him up here. 
He's going to take some impressive speeds, some barrel rolls, and get down to the, to the winner's circle, activating a checkered flag, and can even meet his friend down there, his mentor, the Naval Avi Aviator. So I see there's two tracks here. You're supposed to put them head to head, side by side, and whoever's the winner gets the, uh, the flag? Exactly. So every time you get through it, just like that, it either goes to one side or the other. And these are characters from the film? From the film, yep. We'll have all the characters from the film. Okay, great. And since we know that Dusty is going to be every kid's new best friend, we wanted to give him more ways to play. So this is the wing-controlled Dusty. Now, he's a radio-controlled vehicle, but unlike others that just have a boring old traditional controller, we actually gave the kids the controllers in their hands because the wings are actually the controllers. So I'll turn him on here. So you actually get some sounds. He talks to you, introduces himself a little bit. <laughs> so, give him a little quick propeller twirl there, and when I turn left, he'll turn left. When I turn right, he turns right. So a lot of interactive activity there as well. <laughs> That's dusty. So what is the uh, availability of all these products? Are they going to be rolling out throughout 2013? Yep, they're all going to be rolling out throughout 2013. We're really excited about it. Excellent. And just major retailers everywhere? Yep, exactly. Fantastic. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, of course.